okay uh, so students in the last class uh, what we have discussed is uh, what are the different steps that is involved in uh, designing a lexical analyzer uh, so we have started with uh, first is the creation of regular expressions so we have converted the valid tokens of a given high level language to regular expression forms then from a given regular expression we create the equivalent non-deterministic finite automata so uh, uh, through adding some empty transitions and using the regular expression operations uh, then from NDFA then we convert the NDFA to the deterministic finite automata okay by subset construction methods okay and then from a DFA we created the equivalent program C program okay now a given high level language can have thousands of valid tokens okay and converting each of those tokens to first regular expression and then the corresponding NDFA and then DFA and then writing a program to accept that DFA is quite tedious okay so in compiler designer industry what uh, designers generally prefer is they just write the regular expressions for the possible valid tokens of a language and then they use one tool that performs these two steps of creating NDFA and converting the NDFA to DFA okay and then converting the DFA to output means the output of that tool is is a source program is a program in high level language like C C++ or Java okay so those tools are called as scanner generators so in market we have various scanner generators available one is called as flex okay that creates a program in C and the corresponding program file name is called as lex.yy.c okay so so we, you provide a valid uh, a lex file for where all the regular expressions are specified and some actions are specified means I will tell you what is the format of creating a lex file then the flex the tool this, uh, which serves as a scanner generator takes that uh, flex lex file and uh, creates another program file called lex.yy.c and then you compile that lex.yy.c and uh, link it with the main executable okay then there is another thing called jflex okay so this also takes the regular expression file but it creates a program file in java so while discussing the chapter 1 what we have uh, what we had done is we have visited one uh, we have discussed briefly about this flex means how the format will look like and how we can uh, write a regular expressions rules and actions all those things so I'll just revisit it today okay so so let us try to write a small lex program okay so how the lex file looks like is uh, it has three sections okay separated by this format this uh, two percentile okay now the first section is called as definition section what does this mean this means you can include any files you like like suppose you want to include uh, stdio.h stdio.h or you want to include any any header files and you can define something like suppose I want that you want to define a digit whose regular expression will be like this 
so it will be 0 to 9 okay I can define a number whose regular expression is either 0 or you can have 1 to 9 followed by digit star okay so this way this way you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can write your digit star okay so in this way you can uh, create your own definitions for the regular expressions okay now the second part is called as the, the second region is called as rule section okay in the rule section you in the it has a two two parts one is called a regular expression and another is called axon okay so in the regular expression for example so my regular expression is a digit so what I need to do a digit so whenever I encounter any uh, digit between 0 to 9 suppose I want to print that number so I can say my action will be printf digit found and what that digit is is stored in a is returned by a function called why is, is stored in a file is, is stored as a string yy text okay understood similarly if you have any identifier so let me write an, a small pattern for identifier suppose I say that my identifier is so any any words which starts with a letter and it can have letter or word in between understood so it has a to z and 0 to 9 star okay so zero or more occurrences of letters or digits but uh, we have at least one letter it should start with at least one letter okay so this is the identifier so for identifier sometimes what we do so uh, we'll see in the latter subjects that for identifier we create what we call as a symbol table okay we populate that identifier in the symbol table so you can call a you can create a function like populate symbol table okay symbol table that takes this yy text okay so in this way the actions are written so every every uh, so whenever this uh, the flex matches a pattern so digit is a pattern whenever it matches a pattern this is the action it needs to take okay we specify in this way so and the third is the user action so this is nothing but whatever the C functions you want to write so you can define your functions like void populate symbol table you can have your main also here suppose you want to just compile the lex program and you want to create a uh, bi binary with it so you can have main also that will just give you file yy lex okay it will return true and it will give you all the you need to action so system uh, just a minute printer you can say that token form form is yy text In this way, we can. So when when there will be end of file, yylex will return zero, and this loop will break. 
okay so in this way we write a uh, flex file okay for a given high level language